Go, my love. Hey, folks. Well, here's something a little unusual. Well, we've stayed in uh, many hotel before, in Bird Dragon and many hotel before. I decided not to hatch Aster in this hotel right now, even though I have over 15,000 sigils. Yes, mm -hmm. we should probably yes. get them up to a pretty good sphere. <laughs> but all in all, after Ghost and I spoke about it, well, mm, we've seen worse. It does leave quite a bit to be desired. We're somewhat disappointed with this hotel. Would you say this is true? Yes, definitely. You want to take it and put it on me? So I can explain uh, we why. can put it on you. First, we can put it on me a little bit, saying the room is a little morose. It's kind of oblong, and it does give it an old school flavor, which in and of itself wouldn't necessarily be bad. But when you see stains on the room, hmm. walls like yeah. here, you know, with nicks, uh, wallpaper peeling, and she'll show more of it peeling in other yeah. places, along with a generic picture to cover it up. I suppose the next best thing would have been a sad clown picture. Um, things like this, windows that don't open up too well, yeah. you know, uh, a ventilator that probably looks like it fell out of 1973, maybe 1968, I don't know. Yeah. Overall, it does leave a little bit to be desired. The bathroom is clean. It's uh, not particularly spacious. It seems to be spacious enough, but like I said, the uh, wallpaper, just everything, the combination of the room, just... I don't know. I'm not terribly thrilled with it. What about you? I'm going to turn the phone on you okay. right now. So. Well, my whole thing about this is if I spend $526 for three days mm -hmm. for this room, and I could have <clears throat> stayed in different hotels, I expect a level of... Professionalism? Not even professionalism. The staff has been very nice. Okay. The staff has been very nice. They recommended some places to go. Um, but the, the repair of the hotel, the fact that you have an AC unit, a heater, a radiator, I couldn't imagine staying in this hotel in the winter. Uh -huh. You know, um, the fact that there's cracked tiles in the bathroom, there's no space to put anything because they have a pedestal uh -huh. uh, sink, the, there's no ventilation fan in the bathroom at all. Um, so oh, the name of this hotel is the... The Willow Hotel Chicago. Okay, okay the Willow Hotel Chicago. Um, you know, they do have a nice stock, like a little mini bar. The Their prices, prices aren't too bad. The Actually, they're are, comparable to stores. The prices are pretty reasonable. They have wine and hard liquor and lots of little snacks and everything like TV that. was good. It worked on most the channels. TV, the TV did work, but it didn't have, like, Netflix. It didn't have any kind of... Um, like online cable internet mm -hmm. kind of thing on the TV and at this price point you would expect that mm -hmm. uh, just like we had at the Marriott you could I could log into my Netflix yes um, you know this is not something like the resort we were at in um, St. Charles where you're looking at it, that is a lower price point that room uh, so in better repair, didn't have the technology that I would expect a city room to have at this price point. There was also a lot of amenities at that hotel that this just doesn't have. So mm -hmm. even though it was a lower price point, it had more amenities throughout the hotel. Uh, so it, it's just, it's. I was very disappointed. Um, it's functional. It's not bad, bad. But if I you mean, take a look. It's yes. a clean room. The hotel looks relatively clean. The staff seemed relatively pleasant. Um, the parking is craziness. Oh, that's all over Chicago. Yeah, it's ridiculous because some hotels charge you of upwards of over $50 a day just to park your car. It's a significant chunk of what your room costs. Yeah. Do you want to take a look at the hallway? It yeah. kind of adds to the um, so, yeah. somewhat morose atmosphere. I know. It's definitely uh -huh. very interesting in the hallway. I don't want to close the door because we don't have a key. Uh -huh. Also, the hotel does not have a staff on it, mm -hmm. so you can't um, do it. Uh, you don't have a security lock on the door when you're inside. So we could go downstairs and actually view the uh, entranceway, um, along with the reception area, which was actually fairly cozy looking. Yeah, let's pause. The it. Continental breakfast wasn't bad. Yeah, let's pause it, and we can do this later because we okay, need to get out of the room. Go ahead. No, the lobby of the Willow Hotel is actually spacious. Some might say auspicious, to use a good $10 SAT word. 
Uh, there is a good continental breakfast every morning, which uh, is not exhibited right now, between oatmeal flakes, milk, creamer, yogurt, fresh fruit, um, sausage burgers of sorts, and other things. Their public bathroom is...